So here's the big moment. I'm gonna try to put this up by myself. She just slide right on. We've been working on a bar area of a basement remodel and the last item to build is a barn door or art panel as we were calling it. The interior designer wanted us to do a little bit more than just a barn door and sent me this photo to use as inspiration. This is the design I came up with. Initially we thought we might put some washes of color on the boards, but as Tom got working on it and pulling wood, it quickly became clear that we wouldn't need to add anything. Most of the basement was wood from this single barn, the one in this photo, but we started looking around the shop and we had plenty of different barn wood from different barns, kind of scrappy pieces, and they were different enough that we didn't need to do anything extra. So Tom got started by cutting the pattern on the CNC out of half inch thick MDF, and then he painted it black so there wouldn't be any dark behind the voids in the wood. I'm making Tom take this piece out because <laughs> I didn't like the holes in it. Here I'm at Shapiro Metal Supply to get the metal I need for the barn door. Ah, here it is. The one inch with some nice thick wall. They have new stock, but they also have a lot of salvage pieces. It's nice because I don't mind digging around a bit and doing a little shopping while they cut my material. I love this place. I never know what I'm gonna find. Look at the size of this bearing. Holy smack. Can you pick that up? Thing's huge. I can build some fun stuff with that. No, I don't need this, but I want it. <laughs> Look at this thing. I'm imagining that thing's pretty pricey. Holy oh, crap. Now we got a ball. Yeah. <laughs> To start putting this header up, I've got it fit, and now I'm just putting a couple screws in there to hold it in place. I'm using some little trim screws, and they hide real nice in this wood, you can barely see them. We go. Just a couple more, and it's on to the next piece. I'm starting with the one in the middle, and then I can adjust from there if I need to. Now it's time to move on to the hardware, and I've got a nice long rail here. It's 164 inches long, 
and I'm doing it in one piece. I'm making some custom hardware for it because this door is so long or so heavy. The truck's 164 inches long, and I'm doing it extra beefy to support this weight. I don't know how much this door weighs, but it's an inch and a half thick with an MDF core, and it's double wide. So it's extra heavy, and I needed to beef up the hardware. So I'm going to be putting these extra big lag screws in there with the one inch pipe standoffs to give it some more support and now I'm moving on to getting everything drilled. I'm drilling my pilot holes with a smaller drill bit and I use the Phillips head screwdriver and the center punch to get started. That'll keep the drill bit from wandering around. There you go, and then after this, I'll just drill the bigger holes with the bigger drill. When you drill steel, steel is hard to get started, meaning the drill bit wants to wander around a lot. So that's why we center punch the first hole, and then you can drill really easily with the small drill. It'll stay right in your center punch, and then that pilot hole will center up the big drill bit. If I didn't did do that and I started out just with a big drill, I'd start out like this and as I'm drilling it would just wander around. You can't keep it in place. This way you can do that center punch, get your spot right exactly where you want it, do the pilot hole and now you can just drop this right on there and the center is right up there really easy and it's much easier to drill. I set up my little metal working station out here on the back porch so I can cut a few of these parts and then I'm going to be painting them inside in the basement. It's not quite as cold as it looks. It's very snowy out here, but it's actually almost 60 degrees, so it's quite comfortable. That's the last little pipe to cut, and then I'm smoothing them all out on the belt sander. out pretty nice. I got this big basement down here to work in so I can get such a little paint area here. Next up is to drill and mount the top hardware. I'm starting with a little drill bit and then I'm going to move on to the bigger one to finish up the hole. So right now I've got this rail sitting on top of the door, so it's held up on that end. And I got it right up here with the drill bit and I just drilled that hole with. Set it in there so that'll hold it. And now I can make sure everything lines up and then I got it nice and level. So I'm shooting a laser light across here and raising up the bar right here with some shims to get to the right height. I gotta get it up another eighth of an inch higher to get it totally level all the way across.
This is the last one. So here's the big moment. I'm gonna try to put this up by myself. Should just slide right on. Before I'm finished, there's two last things to do. One is to put these clips on the end of the rails. They go right up here on the, each end to keep the door from going off the tracks. And then this little clippy thing goes on the floor. Down there, there's a groove that we put in the bottom of the door and it slides on this and that keeps the door from swinging in and out. That's all that's left to do and I think we're done. So I drilled this out and put some concrete anchors down in here because right below this floating floor is concrete. So I got that all ready to go. Put the little clip right on there. Screw this right in. I got it all done and it's working good. Here's how it works. Right there. And closes that window off. So this is the media room. And they want to have this so they can close it off when it's time to watch a movie. And when it's not time to watch a movie, they can get some drinks from the bar. The design is different on this side. From this angle, you can get a feel for the whole thing with the big thick bar top that we built, all the barn wood, and the cool divider right here, this slider. I like it. <laughs>